Welcome back to SV Ramble On, and thanks again for joining us. So we finally ordered solar panels, and we've got one of these classic canoe sterns that doesn't leave you a lot of options as far as mounting solar panels. So what we came up with, and there's a couple of other Tayanas that have a similar arrangement, is mounting solar panels on these stern rails. These rails I installed about four years ago, I think, in anticipation of this very day. We ordered two 175 watt new power, N-E-W-P-O-W-A, new power solar panels. So when we ordered our Victron charger and all the lithium batteries and we rewired the whole boat, one of the other things I ordered was a Victron MPPT 100 volt, 30 amp charge controller and I ordered all the brackets and fittings and tubing and everything else I need to do to mount this thing. Let's go inside the boat and take a look at how I'm gonna control all this solar power that we plan on generating. So this is our Victron MPPT control. It's hooked up to the solar charge controller. MPPT 130, 30 amps, 100 volts charge controller. These two talk to each other. And we also ordered the Bluetooth dongle that plugs in for programming, logging, registering, everything. You can send it to an iPad or an iPhone. You log on to the Victron app and you can see exactly what the heck your solar panels are doing all day long. Welcome back to our quarter berth. So this is pretty much electrical central. Got the inverter charger here. The battery bank is directly below my butt. Most of the wires come in and out up this wall. This is the 30 amp disconnect for the shore power. This is where I plan to mount my 100 volt 30 amp MPPT solar controller. I'm gonna bring the wires from inside the lazarette through here and down and up to here. And I'm also gonna install a battery disconnect switch that shuts off solar power to the battery bank. You don't wanna shut the solar off by itself. It has to go through the MPPT controller then you can put a disconnect. Wires come in, they go from photovoltaic, then they go into the battery. There's gonna be a switch on the positive lead to the battery that turns it off or on. So I pop this switch open. Blue Seas is great about this kind of stuff. It's got four windows, four removable windows on each side. So you can mount it so your wires come in any direction you want and they can exit any direction you want. Once you pop it in, it clicks in, it locks in. So this is the back of the new solar panel and I've got to make some mounting brackets. What I got is some inch and a half bar stock aluminum and I need to cut them down to about 26 and 9 16 inches. So now I got to install the clamp brackets. Here's the rail mounts installed. These go over the, gra the grab rails on the stern of the boat. So now we need to get the cables down from the panels to below deck into the boat. I picked up some of these RV cable gland things. They've got watertight connections here. What I did was mark out on the outside of the combing and where I'm gonna put it. Now I gotta drill some holes in the boat. <laughs> All right, so I took a lot of messing around to get this bracket uh, adjustable so that it articulates and swings correctly when I tilt the panels up. But I think I finally got it. And then you got a little, like a, a lever arm wing nut type of thing that'll lock it into place. So when, I, when you adjust it up, this thing slides into position and it'll go as far as over center, even to catch the sun when the sun is off to that side. Right now the sun's almost directly dead overhead, so I'm gonna lock it down right about there so it sits flat. Uh, 
This is the starboard side solar wires and I've labeled positive and these are the port side panel wires and I've labeled positive on that side. Now I need to splice them together in parallel and so I'll be connecting positive to positive and negative to negative and then run them to the charge controller. And now make the connection to the charge controller. So this is the negative photovoltaic PVN so the thing with solar panels is you're not supposed to hook up power to the panel first, then the battery. You're supposed to hook it up to the battery first, then the panel. I've got power disconnected at the MC4 connectors at each panel. So the panels are dead right now. Then plug in each power with a blanket or something covering it. So these things just have little bite down lugs. That is the panel connection to the MPPT controller. Now I gotta take this off, cut some wire and hook it up to the battery. The positive side will be switched, the negative side will run through, and I'm still waiting on the Blue Seas 30 amp fuses. I'm just going to put this 100 amp fuse in as a placeholder. Tied down so I that. flipped the switch on, the MPPT controller is on, but before I can plug in the solar panels, I need to program the charge controller with the proper Battleborn charge parameters. So the Bluetooth on my computer is turned on. Uh, just open the Victron Connect app, connect to the Victron's uh, MPPT 100 slash 30 charge controller. So right now I'm making nothing. There's no power coming into the boat because uh, the solar is not plugged in at the MC4 connectors. So go to settings, go to battery. It automatically detects that the batteries are 12 volts. Max charge current is 30 amps. Uh, it's preset for a gel Victron deep discharge battery, I want to go to user defined parameters. So once I started changing these, it automatically defaulted to user defined battery preset. So 13.6 equalization voltage needs to be turned way down because um, these batteries do not need equalization. So anything below 14.6, I'll go 14.4. Automatic equalization is disabled. Manual equalization should not be set. Low temperature cutoff disabled. Temperature compensation. There is no temperature uh, hooked up. The BMS on board has its automatic temperature compensation built into the batteries. So that's it for setting the Battleborn parameters. So right now it's uh, it's a little cloudy and overcast. With the panels up facing the sun, we're making about 200 watts coming into the battery bank. Total, we've got eight watts being tracked on the battery voltage monitor. Eight, tra eight watts going out. We also have the Victron Bluetooth Direct, the VE Direct Bluetooth dongle. That plugs into the MPPT controller and then we can look at all the charging on the Victron Connect app. You can't run two things at the same time and we didn't get the smart solar controller. So I just unplugged the VE Direct cable and plugged in the Bluetooth dongle and then it sits here and starts blinking telling you that it's on. So this is showing the last, we've had what, the last few days have been pretty lousy weather. We had really good sun on the 31st of March and made 2.01 kilowatt hours. We're making 168 right now, 166, 170 watts, depending on cloud cover. All last week, it was pretty much overcast and cruddy and I had the panels laid down uh, when I was at work. So currently right now it's putting in 18 and a half volts at 8.2 amps. And it's the smart chargers converting it down to 13 and a half volts at 10 amps. And currently it's in a bulk state and you can also go through here and look at historical data. So we had a bulk rate for 12 hours and 28 minutes on that day. Uh, when it rained, it was kind of cruddy. We had six hours and 42 minutes, but it didn't, didn't put very much into it. It'll track historical data, I think, for up to 30 days. All right, so that's it for the solar installation. It uh, looks like these should help keeping our batteries topped up. If you found something interesting and useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And you can also see us on Facebook at SV Ramble On, or our website, svrambleon.com, or Instagram at sv underscore ramble on. Thanks for watching.